Hey, hey, what's up, garden friends? Jeff here at Tropical Plant Party. How's everybody doing? I uh, hope you're good. I'm great. Feeling good, feeling better. I'm outside getting ready to put together a planter for my little sister. I wanted to put together something pretty basic and simple that would be low maintenance. She is someone who, um, to the best of my knowledge, has never grown or cared for a plant before. So uh, I thought I would go ahead and make a video while I do it, just something simple where I can sit down and chat about the plants I'm using and just have a good time with some plants. You, you feel me? Okay, I'm sure you do. So uh, this planter right here, I got this one and one that's similar to this but larger back in the springtime from Lowe's. And uh, I really like these planters. They have little feet, little nubby, chubby feet on them. They're cute planters. The thing is though, um, they're not for me. <laughs> you know, I think that just like white pottery in general, white furniture, white linens, white clothing, it just, it doesn't really fit with um, my lifestyle of just chaos. So I thought this would be a good planter to use for something that would be a gift to someone so that the white, always showing dirt messiness of it could be somebody else's problem. No, not really. Actually, it's just a nice neutral pot and it's a bonus that I decided I don't want it. So it's a good thing to go ahead and put some stuff in with it being neutral and it's just, there's nothing crazy and specific about its design, kind of like some of my other planters that don't want to focus, but you get the point. There it is. White, just an easier way to go. So uh, like I said, I am just planting this up with succulents. I, <laughs> and the, none of them are new either. So like, for example, here's a Sansevieria. I wanna use this as a centerpiece in here. And these are for the most part, just plants that I like have basically scavenged from my own planters around the garden. So it's like, you know, if it's, they're simple plants. I have plenty of them. There's more than enough to share and to go around. Some of them are looking a little bit like rough and haggard you could say that's just because they've been out here in the elements for a while i already pre-filled this with some potting mix that i added a whole bunch of perlite and some orchid bark to i would prefer to add some sand and some pumice because this is going to be all succulents but i don't have any uh but this will work i checked it out it drains very quickly it'll hold on to moisture for just a smidge longer than is probably ideal but i'm going to tell her to only water this when it's dried out not like the top inch Let's go ahead and let the whole thing dry out. I'll hold on to it for a few days and see if it takes a long time for this entire planter to become dry. If it does, then maybe I'll redo the soil, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Yeah, something made for cactus and succulents would be ideal, right? But it's just, you know, working with what I have here, can't go to the store or anything right now, still not driving or able to drive so i think that this should still work okay so there's the sansevieria in the middle a couple of tradescanthias over here these are the nanooks i have tons of these because they just they grow and they grow and they grow so there's plenty to go around and share and then i'm also i'm thinking it would be nice to tuck some sempervivums in here something that would be perennial for her in case she wants to leave this outside on her deck the balcony of her apartment because uh, she has cats and the sansevierias are toxic so she may not want to take this in so the tradescanthia the sansevieria those will die off in the winter here but the um, sempervivums this hens and chick this is from a clump that i've had for years in a pot and it dies back in the winter for the most part and comes back every spring so it'll be pretty this year and the next year maybe just have some hens and chicks in it or heck we're family i could go ahead and toss something else in there for next year if she wanted to um, or <laughs> she might bring it over here and let me take care of it for the winter time in my growth space which would be fine also I'm just excited to be out here and be playing with plants this is something that's very simple I'm not doing anything complex or complicated here I don't think there's a reason to it doesn't need to be complicated especially since this is going to somebody who doesn't really know anything about plants may as well keep it simple right what is it? There's three different types of plants in here. One of them will be perennial zones five and up. I'm in 6A, 6B. The rest of these, not. They're not gonna be perennial here. Could take them in, like I said. That's going to be up to her. So uh, off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and backfill this a little bit with some potting mix. And I think it would be fun to top dress this with something also just to, I don't know, kind of liven it up a little bit. I thought it might look kind of nice to go ahead and top dress this with some marbles. This is just vase filler, just white clear opaque vase filler nothing fancy they just kind of help fill in the gaps i don't think 
this is totally necessary because, well, the Tritoscantia that's in here, that's going to fill in all those gaps that probably don't need something to cover up the top of the soil. But I mean, hey, why not? This is going to take a long time if I do it one stone at a time, isn't it? Yeah, it might be better to just go ahead and get in there and do it by the handful and turn this into a 30 minute video of me just placing stones around some plants. That would be entertaining, wouldn't it? No, probably not. I don't know if I would be too into that. And yet here I am still doing it, putting them in one at a time. Whenever I'm gifting a planter, that's usually when I'll use a top dressing just because it kind of finishes things off. It makes them just look nicer, a little bit more clean and tidy, especially if they're going to somebody who doesn't necessarily grow plants, like that's not necessarily their jam then it can turn the plant into being more of like a decoration, which I mean, they kind of are. You know, we plant up a lot of these things and we want them to look nice in our homes. And Taking the time to throw in some cheap vase filler or gravel or something like that can make a big difference in how these things look. And of course, with this being a white planter, having a top dressing on there is going to make it so that when this plant gets watered, not as much soil will wash through. It'll catch some of that. It'll help keep the planter looking more tidy. Not fun to water your plants and have soil go washing all over the sides and then have to clean it up. I don't enjoy it. I think that's really annoying. And it's not something I want somebody to have to deal with if they're receiving this as a gift. It should be simple and easy. Yeah, there it is. See? So simple, so easy. It's clean. It's cute. It'll look nice pretty much anywhere it goes just because it's pretty neutral and it has some good color to it and low maintenance that's kind of the main thing i was going for is i want to give her something that she wouldn't really have to fuss over from what she has told me their porch where this will be going their balcony gets like pretty intense morning sun for a few hours and then it's fairly shaded throughout the rest of the day so this should be all right the tradescantia i don't know it could be a little bit too sunny there for them I, like i said i don't know we'll just have to wait and see how that goes if things don't do well then it's not like i don't have more plants around here that i can use to put together something a little bit different for her I, there's no shortage of plants i was able to just walk around the garden and just like grab plants and i threw them in a little bucket and i was like yeah these will do nice low maintenance succulents i like having the semper vivum in there i think it something about the difference in between the greens and then in there with the pink it's just cute and summery and the perennial factor like i said i think that that's good too to be able to give something that has some options with it so should they decide my sister and her husband decide they don't want to bring this inside for the winter time then it's either going to end up back here and i'll take care of it or take those other plants out the sansevieria and then the tritoscanthia and leave those semper vivums and those will eventually fill this in on their own as well i always try and make sure if something is going to somebody who lives uh, with a balcony or a deck particularly an apartment building where there's neighbors below the person that I'm setting them up with something that doesn't require a lot of water <laughs> because it's a pain to have to take these things and the house to water them for one and two you don't want to have to water it every single day and then every single day water running out the bottom of the pot onto the floor and then down through the cracks and then to your neighbor's balconies that's just I don't know seems like a hassle this way they won't even really have to worry about a drainage dish I really think that this would get by just fine with being taken inside and watered in the sink probably once a week and it should be just fine but you know it just kind of depends on the weather things are pretty humid right now so it shouldn't need to be watered too terribly often. But like I said, I'm going to tell her to water it when it dries out. And I'll probably hold on to it for several days just to see how long it's taking to dry out. So I can just go ahead and tell her, here's how often I've been watering it. Um, or I may just give her a moisture meter with it and tell her <laughs> that, like, don't water it until you stick this all the way down there. And it says dryer, it's between dry and moist, somewhere in there. Uh, Tradescanthias, you know, they can go in planters that get more frequent irrigation as long as that soil drains really well but they also have that versatility of being able to be used in a succulent arrangement because they are succulents and they can be pretty drought tolerant as well it all kind of depends on the amount of humidity airflow and sunlight that they're getting but if it's just morning sun and uh, it's pretty humid here during the summers i think that they'll be fine and then the the sansevieria the snake plant i mean they're that's these are the best plants to give to somebody who's new to plants as long as they don't have pets that'll chew on them they, you, I don't want to say you can't kill them. I think we all know you can kill them, but it's usually from overwatering that these don't do well. 
Sans Severias are almost, I would say, if not, no, they are, they're probably the easiest, most foolproof plant you can grow. Fun, versatile plants, those Sans Severias. My top recommendation for a plant to gift to someone because they'll usually last a very, very, very long time. That's a quality I like to have with something when giving it to someone as a gift. I don't want someone to have to fuss over things. So this should be pretty low fuss, pretty low maintenance. And it, like I said, I'll take care of it for a week or so just so I can go ahead and say exactly how often to water because she isn't someone who grows plants. My little sister, to my knowledge, I think I mentioned, don't know if she ever has. And uh, also a bit of a perfectionist or maybe not even a perfectionist, but just kind of like myself where when you're new to something, maybe stress a little bit about making sure you're doing everything perfectly. And that's not, I don't want that pressure to be on someone when something's supposed to be a gift. It's supposed to be fun and enjoyable, right? And that's a pretty easy thing to pull off when it's a Sansevieria. I mean, nearly bulletproof plants. They're fantastic. Okay, that's gonna do it. Just, you know, hanging out, planting stuff up. Hope y'all had a good time. Hope everything's going well for everybody. Having a great life and everything's just going beautifully for you. I have all my social media linked down below. And then, you know, if you do the whole YouTube thing, like subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you know when new videos come out that would be great i try and upload multiple times a week things are a little weird right now but we'll be getting back on track here sooner than later since we're on the topic of it comment down below do you like to gift things planters and things like that what are your favorite plants to gift like i have said many times for me it's a sansevieria just because it's long-lived it's simple and a pretty great plant maybe not the most exciting i think they're pretty exciting but it just depends on the eye of the beholder i suppose and you also have to factor in people's pets and children and whatnot you know so if somebody has toddlers or mouthy animals it's probably not something i would go with but they don't really need to worry about that so obviously it's not something i factored in here yeah, let me know or just say hi love talking to everybody how's your garden doing how's your garden growing in the midst of summer here it's pretty toasty here very humid it's a very humid sticky day here in St. Louis and I am absolutely loving it. But I'm not supposed to be sweating. Still got some stuff healing from my past surgery. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Like I said, hope everybody's doing well. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye, bye.